The Top 5 Island Hopping Tours in Phuket Phuket's coastline is the stuff of every escapist's dreams. With long stretches of white sandy beaches interspersed with dramatic rock formations, island hopping is the activity on everyone's Phuket itinerary. And if you haven't indulged in it yet, well, it's time. With 32 islands surrounding Phuket, the main issue is that you have too many options. Where do you start? That's where we come in. Let's explore how you can pick the island that would fit your island hopping schedule. Number 1. PP Island Day Tour We'll be starting off with a day tour of Ko PP Island. With its reputation for luring in the young, fashionable, and vivacious, PP Island is virtually a household name for its vibrancy and intensity as a party island and culinary haven. A typical tour day would start around 6 to 7 a.m., where you'll be picked up at the hotel. You'll then travel to Ko PP Lei Island via a speedboat. It takes around one hour to arrive at the PP Islands. Most PP Island tours will include places like the famous Maya Bay, which has the most beautiful, pristine beaches. Pile Lagoon, where you can enjoy a swim in the water's sparkling clarity. Monkey Island, where you'll encounter many naughty monkeys. And the mysterious Viking Cave. For different tours, you can have the options to a few other islands. One option is Kainok Island. This island is only around 10 kilometers on the east coast of Phuket. It has superb sandy beaches and incredibly clear water. Feel free to snorkel, swim, or just relax. Another popular option is Bamboo Island. The tiny island is located off the northern tip of Phi Don and covered in bamboo trees. It has one of the most famous beaches on Phi Phi, the Bamboo Beach. The typical cost of this Phi Phi day tour ranges from 1,200 to 1,700 Thai baht. Transportation, lunch, snacks, and soft drinks are all included in the price. Number 2. James Bond Island and Hong Island Day Tour James Bond Island is Peng Na's most famous landmark and is situated north of Phuket. Wondering why it has such an interesting name? Well, its use as the backdrop for the James Bond film, The Man with the Golden Gun, earned it its name. For this tour, you can choose either to travel on a speedboat or a big boat. Personally, I prefer Big Boat, as it's more comfortable and less likely to have seasickness. Four main stations are included in this tour. Panya Bay, Panak Island, James Bond Island, and Hong Island. The highlight of this day tour is kayaking through magnificent caves and beautiful lagoons. Don't know how to kayak? No worries at all! The skilled guides will do all the work. You just need to relax and enjoy the views. On Panak Island, you'll be able to see Thailand's most breathtaking and magnificent cave environments, where you can see beautiful stalactites and stalagmites. On Hong Island, you can explore the inland tidal lagoons known as Hongs. Hong is the Thai word for room. These lagoons can be accessed only by a cave. This day tour typically costs 1,200 to 1,500 Thai baht. The overall experience is quite relaxing and suitable for family travelers with young kids or the elderly. Number 3. Racha and Coral Island Day Tour is one of the most popular tours in Phuket, mainly because the travel time is short. The two islands are located on the southern coast of Phuket and can be reached by speedboat within half an hour. Racha Island is known for its amazing snorkeling and Coral Island is known for its multicolored coral reefs that are home to exotic tropical fish. Both islands could get crowded during the day because of their proximity to Phuket but the water is fantastic for snorkeling or diving, and the sandy beaches are welcoming. You'll hop between the two islands, finding your perfect spots to snorkel or relax. The emerald waters are home to a wealth of colorful aquatic life. If the weather is good, you may be able to get sightings of vibrant coral, rainbow trout, pufferfish, and giant starfish. This day tour typically costs 1,000 to 1,200 Thai baht. Weak currents and amazing snorkeling close to shore make these islands ideal for snorkeling beginners and younger children. Number 4. The Similan Islands Day Tour One of the Andaman Sea's undiscovered beauties is Similan Island, which is located a little farther from Phuket. The travel time could be a bit long, around 2 hours by car from Patong to Dap Lamu Pier, and another 1.5 hours by speedboat from the pier to the Similan Islands. Despite the long ride, the beauty of the Similan Islands is worth it. The Similans are considered among the world's best snorkeling spots. The islands are surrounded by a warm, crystal clear sea with underwater visibility of 20 meters. 
Additionally, a wide range of endangered and rare marine species can be found here. If you're lucky, you may spot sea turtles and dolphins. There are nine islands altogether. Most day tours include four out of the nine islands. Ko Miang, island number four, Ko Payu, island number seven, Ko Similan, island number eight, and Ko Bangu, island number nine. You'll be given enough time to snorkel and sunbathe during the tour. Ko Similan, island number eight, is the landmark. You can hike the path through the immense granite boulders to the lookout point known as Sail Rock, a thrilling, risky trail without railings or steps. Take your time and make a safe climb. The Similan Islands day tour is slightly more expensive than other day tours. Price ranges from 2,200 to 2,700 Thai baht. You may have to pay an additional 500 Thai baht of national park fee. Another thing to take note is that the Similan Islands are open only from October 15th to May 15th. The time varies each year, so always check before planning a day out there. Number five, Krabby Four Islands Day Trip. Even if you're based in Phuket, you still have the chance to visit Krabi for its lovely seascape. To get there, it only takes two hours by big boat and you'll have the entire afternoon to enjoy Noparat Tara Beach. The most stunning island tour in Krabi is the Four Island Tour. On this trip, you'll snorkel and swim at some of the region's most idyllic beaches while exploring the vibrant underwater world. You'll also come across amazing rock formations such as the stunning rocks on Chicken Island and Ko Poda. Another highlight of the tour is the Chicken Head, which is particularly well known. If you're taking the tour at low tide, you'll get to walk the narrow strap of sands connecting the tiny islands of Komor and Kotob. In fact, Pranang Beach on the renowned Riley Peninsula is included in the tour too. This trip is almost a must do while in Krabi. You can choose between a speedboat or a standard long tail boat on this journey to Krabi's four dream islands. This day tour costs around 1,000 Thai baht. Check out the links in the description and comments for more details about these island hopping tours. Which of these island day tours will you be trying out in Phuket? Tell us in the comments.